Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk, and I'm going to make a candy cane. Now, instead of the standard primitives, I'm going to go to extended primitives. And I'll just jump in here. I'll hit the G to get rid of the grid for now. I'll make a capsule. I'm going to drag that all the way up. So a fairly tall candy cane here. Go to selection when I'm done with that. I still want to modify it. So I'm going to change the number of height segments. Hit the F3s, F4s, so you can see the sections there. This doesn't even look tall enough to me yet. I think I'll zoom out a bit and bring up the height. That looks a bit better, so I'll play with that. Now I want to bring up the segments. So I'll zoom in a bit, and I want to bring the segments up, the height segments. So I'll bring that way up there. Quite a bit. That's going to be important. That's quite a lot. That's going to be important when we bend this thing and twist this thing. So that looks about right. It doesn't have to be that number, just anywhere around there. And this part is done. This capsule is done. So we start to shape it, but first I'm going to color it. So I'll jump in up to the top view, get rid of the grid. I don't need it. I can hit Z to zoom into it. And let's see. I want to grab every other part of that. I'll jump into the freeform selection tool here, and I'll just kind of grab in like so. Well, first you have to make it an editable polygon, of course. Make sure you're grabbing the polygons, and grab in somewhere. Hold down the control, or the shift if it's set up for the Maya suite. Anyway, hold down the control, and you want to grab every other one, which is a common thing to do. There we are. Now that's every other one that's selected. This is going to be a specific color. So I'll go down to the polygons right here. Material ID, polygons, material ID. I'll pick a number, I'll make this number two. I'll flip it. So I'll do edit, select, invert. Those are the other ones. I'll make this number three. Okay. So some of those polygons are number two. Some of those polygons are number three. Let's test that. I'll go into my materials editor and open that up. I want the multi sub object. So I'll drag that over. Now I want two standard objects also. Standards are going to be our basic color. And I want two of them. Double click on one. In the diffuse colors, I will make this one red. And you can see it there. I can open this up. And then the other one, I'll double click on that. And diffuse colors. I'll make this one, well, I can make a white or green or whatever. I think I'll make that one white. And you can see a white one and a red one. I'll drag one over to three and the other over to, you guessed it, number two. When those are set, and you can see a kind of a preview here. I'll right click in this blue area up top and assign material to the selection. So I've got this kind of part red and part white candy cane going. Well, let's see if it worked. I'll go back here and it looks like it did. Let's take a good look. I'll turn off the lines here and yes, we have a really, really good looking line <laughs> capsule of red and white stripes. So we need to change that. We need to do a few things. One of the things we'll do is, of course, twist it. So we'll grab a twist on top. Make sure you're at the very top here when we do this. And I'll drop the twist modifier onto this. Drop twist on. And go ahead and bring the angle up. So I'm twisting it, whichever direction you want to. And that looks pretty good to me. If I do the F3s and the 4s, you can see how these segments are starting to kind of spin around. And that's why we have so many segments. So that looks nice. And I think I'll stop there. So that's great. Another thing that I want to do, and I think I'll go into the top or side view for this. Get rid of the grid. I want to bend this thing. What's a candy cane without bending it? So let's try to bend it. Drop a bend modifier on top. And bend sounds easy. It can be a little tricky. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to open this up. First, I'm going to bend the regular base angle. Ah, it's bending in a different way. That's fine. You can change the direction out. If I want to do 90 degrees, that's fine. 
Okay, so I'll bend it out. And here's the thing, I'll bring the gizmo up. This is just the gizmo, I'll bring that straight up. And I will do a limit on the effect. So I'll do an upper limit effect. And bring the gizmo up. So now I can start to bend this here. And as you can see, it's starting to bend out. So I can increase the angle and curve it. And all this is just preference. Something like that looks like a really good candy cane. I can bring the gizmo up and down, kind of roll that shape so I can make it as sharp or as easy as I want. And then by controlling the angle, I think I want the gizmo down a little bit. I can make this look any way I want. That looks pretty good. Maybe a bit of a tighter curve. And yeah, that's a good candy cane. So I have this whole thing. It's completely done. I can click off. I'll go back into my perspective here. Take a look. I don't want those lines in anymore. And I just have a regular completed candy cane. There you go. So that's how you do it. You can light it, and you have a really good candy cane when you're done with this. Hit enough light to render it. There it is. Oh, one other thing you can do when you're in here on the materials, bring up the specular. Make it nice and shiny. And you can see how it catches the light when I do that. So make it nice and shiny as candy canes should be. So if I render it again, it should have this kind of shiny, glossy highlights to it. There we are. Alright, so that's how you make a basic candy cane pretty easily. So, enjoy.